Lisa, you're on three out of four. Are you satisfied with the way g your games have gone so far? Well, with the points, actually, I'm satisfied with my second game loss against Vijikov. It was quite upsetting because I had a very good position. I had a great advantage. But it was a complicated position, I must confess. And each move was kind of important. At, and at some point after move 21, I think engine Lisa switched off and became normal Lisa. And this was a problem. <laughs> And okay, today and yesterday I beat someone weaker, so more it's fine. Right, and now you're somebody who comes back to Jib again and again. In fact, last day you were here as a commentator, and now you you switched back to playing at the tournament. Yes, I wanted to gain some experience in commentating. It was with Simon great fun, but I think like every girl like here who was a commentator at some point, they they felt like to come back to the game and this happened to Arena and I guess this also happened to me and you miss playing when you see everyone else is playing. I think when you are a player by birth or let's say like we are I mean Irina and me we are actually professional players and at some point I mean it's nice to always gain new experience I mean I used to teach eight months in, in Ankara for instance just to do something new but at some point you always get back to that what you're actually doing. Right now just coming back to that game against Vitigov you were doing really well out of the opening you were better and of course he's a very strong player and you felt like you were close to almost sealing that point, and then you went terribly wrong. So how do you cope up with that uh, with that loss then to come back the next day? It's a good question. I'm not sure actually I cope with that up as well at all, but at some point the next game actually I played against some Indian girl, I mean your last board from the national team event in Baku, Pratusha Bodder. Yeah. I played her and actually like, I really felt this anger in me and I really like killed her basically like, her, I mean, I had a very tactical game and I sacrificed. This is sometimes very dangerous when you're still angry from the uh, previous uh, defeat that you put all your anger in one game. It could also like backfire, but fortunately, you know, <laughs> it went well. <laughs> it went well. Now you're also someone who actually takes part on in all the social uh, fun and the social side of the Gibraltar Chess Festival. You were playing the Blitz yesterday. How important is uh, the social side of the festival for you? I think the social side of this festival is like one of the unique ones in the world. I think it's something compared to Gibraltar I haven't seen in any other tournaments. Like this, like for example, like this four blitz, this two blitz, the battle of the sexes. I mean, probably like Gibraltar should try to get a patent right on that. <laughs> no, I mean, like I think it's important to socialize because what I understood is like when you are by yourself and you basically don't communicate at least for me it's very bad for my chest so I really not I need since I'm also a woman you know we like to talk I mean I really need to like to have my friends around and if you are in good mood it's also better for your chest at least in my case there are like other cases where they prefer to be by themselves to save energy but this is individually different I think Right, and now besides the fun part, how else do you unwind here? What is it that you do to sort of unwind and get ready for the next game? What do you mean by unwind? Unwind doesn't like just when you're tired or exhausted after a long round. How do you cope up with that? Um, well, I never like, I mean, you should actually sleep early, but somehow I don't manage. <laughs> Actually, like one of my plans is like I make breakfast and then after breakfast I go back to sleep. <laughs> so a lot of rest. Do you think it's more important to land up at around fresh or uh, is a lot of preparation? It, how, do you, how do you divide your time in the morning? What's more important for you? I think at a certain age you should try to save energy. I'm not sure I cross a certain age being over 30, but I would advise those who have like a white rabbit. I mean, I play everything with white with black, so I'm not like in a risk to run into some deep, uh, deep preparation usually. And this gives me a lot of spare time, like in order not to prepare too deeply. And if I don't play someone too strong, I just decide on the first move if I see something in his... Uh, repertoire which might be surprising I check it but today for example I spent 10 minutes and yesterday I went shopping so <laughs> so well that clearly works for you and good luck for the remaining rounds we hope to have you back in the studio thank you